the god of hellfire, and I bring you... Dave the Pickup Artist. Hello, VC. Dave the Pickup Artist. This week, we've got two bands that I always get mistaken for each other. Uh, most of these albums I picked up uh, this week, actually. Some I had, some I ha didn't have. But yeah, let's get started. The first band I've got is The Animals. Wow. Featuring Eric Burden, guy right there. Got Chaz Chandler, bass player. Later went on to work with Jimi Hendrix. And yeah, uh, Animals on Tour. I don't know if this is live. There's no, there's no uh, audience that uh, can be heard on this. So I don't exactly know what it is, but it is great early 60s British R&B. Um, one thing I learned about the liner notes on the back was that uh, the Animals were the first band to be invited to play at the uh, Apollo in Harlem. I did not know that. So yeah, yeah, these next two albums were both $2 at my local antique store. Every uh, every week he restocks it. Now I always find some uh, new uh, little treasures in here, in there. Burn Pop was next a I bad found. dude. And he ran uh, a bunch of bad boys. Eric Burden and the Animals. Dog, volume two. Now this is uh, around 65, 66 when they were I'm starting dying. to get it out of R and B and into uh, psychedelic music. As you could tell by the psychedelic cover. And a couple years after that, FBI, open up. put out. What I think is her psychedelic masterpiece, Winds of Change. Man. It's just got a little bit of everything. I don't like the cover. I don't like the, all the words and stuff. I would have rather had a kind of a psychedelic, more psychedelic cover. But that being said, this is a fantastic Man. album. We've got everything on here. We've got sitar music, uh, fuzz, uh, spoken word, uh, just crazy stuff. If you ever find it, it I think this is one of my favorite psych albums. But yeah, Eric Burden. After that, of course, Eric uh, uh, left the animals and joined a war uh, where he was uh, there for two albums. He did two albums with war, successful albums, and uh, he went on to form his own band, still alive and well, uh, Eric Burden. Uh, next, I've got... Uh, them. I'm dying. Featuring Van Morrison. Hype sticker alert. The wonderful thing about pickles are pickles are wonderful things. This is their first album. They started out as a house band at the Maritime Hotel in Belfast, Ireland. And a lot of these songs, Van Morrison uh, thought up on the uh, on the fly. Uh, he improvised a lot on stage, and that's how we got Gloria and uh, a couple other songs on here. But uh, yeah, Van was around for uh, two albums. He did this album and another album called Them Again. Then he took off, and the, uh, the band uh, basically kind of morphed into a psychedelic uh, a band. They... Uh, hooked up with uh, Kim Foley, and they put out an album called The Belfast Gypsies, and put out a couple more psychedelic albums. So yeah, in 1970, uh, the only member of the, of the band left of them was the bass player. Uh, the bass player was this gentleman, pony his last name was Harrison, I forget his first name, but he uh, he had the band's name and he hired a bunch of, uh, he, well, he hired a, a kind of a, not a private label, but a, uh, a tax scam type budget label. You're and he put together this soldier. album and he hired session musicians. 
one of the session, the main session musician he hired was Jerry Cole, who was a member of the Wrecking Crew, great guitar player. Uh, Jerry Cole was uh, headed up some great uh, psychedelic uh, budget comp albums like uh, The Animated Egg and The Id, you might be familiar with if you're a psych fan. And uh, yeah, this album is great, deep psych. Uh, wow! We've got a little bit of uh, Come on, man. a fuzz rock. We've got hard rock. It's hard rock psych. Uh, Let it go. Doesn't sound anything like Van Morrison's Them. Of course, none of the no, the only member, of course, was the uh, coronavirus. The bass and like I said, uh, he's only on here for about. Uh, two songs so it's basically a session musician album uh, a lot of secrecy around it it's rumored that uh rye cooter and jack nietzsche also play on this as well as billy preston too so who knows they're not credited so i don't know um this is the label happy tiger man the next um, Them album was also on Happy Tiger. It was called uh, Them and Now, I think it was called. Uh, and it's definitely worth checking out too. But this is a fantastic album. If you come across this, uh, pick it up. It's hard to find a copy of this album for under $50. I found a copy for, for 20. I think it was with my pickup artist discount. So. Yeah, if you like deep psych fuzz rock mania, <laughs> check this out and check out uh, check out all these bands and their their albums. Them was a great band, as was the Animals. Um, love picking this stuff up. And with that, hope everybody has a great week. I will catch up with you again real soon. What are we talking about? Come on.